Well, hello, hello. Welcome to the Pitchy Podcast. We're your hosts, James. And Stephanie. <laughs> and I'm Eric. Yes! I'm taking over. <laughs> I'm a part of the hosting team now. Yes. Come through. Come through. Eric. Welcome home, oh. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Eric is our third host, okay? Like, yes. Just brought him on to the family. It's the family. Yes. Uh, so today, you all, as you can see, it's another very special episode of the Pitchy Podcast. And we have an incredible guest that we've been trying to get on this show for a minute. He was a top 13 contestant on season 22 of NBC's The Voice on Team Camilla. Uh, his song selections and performances really <laughs> just had us shook. I mean, we were entertained. His vocal choices, his runs had Stephanie and I yelling, come on, choices! <laughs> and energy and spirit made him one of our absolute favorites. Eric, who? Welcome to the Pitchy Podcast. Yay! Honey! Thank y'all for letting me be. I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, we just knew, we were like, we got to get Eric on. And we're going to have a blast with him because he is just, from what we saw, he just was just so much fun. And we can't wait to pick your brain as to how you felt about your experiences this past season. Though. Yes. I must say. Yeah, so let's get started with the questions. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I have to get this off my chest. No. Like, I can't remember exactly what performance it was, but it was a performance that I wasn't feeling like, oh, like, I don't think people are going to like this at all. And then I saw, I think, like, a mention from you guys that y'all talked about, and I was like, oh, can I, don't cuss on here, right? Don't cuss, because I was about to cuss good just now. <laughs> I was about to leave yeah. No, okay, I'm not gonna go far. But I was like, oh my God, like, oh shoot, I'm scared. Like, this is about to rip me apart. And y'all were so <laughs> nice. Y'all were like, I think maybe I had maybe one more performance after that. Then they gave me the boot. But like, it was like, y'all don't understand. Like, but I heard y'all talking. I was like, oh my God, like, this is a boost of like motivation. Like, I am doing it right. I am like in the right direction. Cause I just take y'all as like professionals, like y'all know what y'all talking about, and it just felt good to hear you guys saying good things. And I was like, oh, I'm doing something right. Somebody had like it. <laughs> Loved you. Loved you. You were everything. We were like, uh, uh-uh, more Eric, more Eric. Because I'm still mad that you didn't get the screen time that we thought you deserved. Okay, Uh-oh. come Uh-oh. on. But but I'm not going there tonight, Stephanie. I'm not well, going. I might. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Because I'm going to go there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I might. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, Stephanie. What we got? All right. So first of all, hi, Eric. It is so wonderful to have you. Um, so if people first met you on uh, The Voice like me, I didn't know you prior to this, unfortunately, but uh, I've been following you on social media. Love you. But what did your life look like before you were on The Voice? Um, For me, I was, well, still am now, a full-time content creator. Some people call them social media influencers. I don't really like that term, but I'm just a video content creator. That's how I'm able to survive and do the things that I want to do in life financially. Um, So I already... Like, I know some contestants used to make little jokes like, why are you here? Because you already have a following. Some of us don't have nothing. So why are you here? Now, that's not even a joke. Right. <laughs> but like, yeah. I think it's a little playful joke because like, I get it. Um, And also, I would say that that helped me and like my mindset because I do know that going into a show like that, any type of competition series where you're fighting for, I guess, like relevancy, you want people to like you, then you want to yes. stay on the show as long as yes. you like, can. The idea of getting yes. sent home can be like this very scary thing. But for me, like if I get sent home, I'm getting sent home to like a platform already built for myself. Is that right? Like, so I was always kind of content, no matter what the result was going to be every round. So yeah, that's wonderful. That's a that's, that's a wonderful way to go into it. That's why you gave us everything for every performance. Yes, I mean, oh, we could you. see it. Uh, you just. It was just, it was just phenomenal, phenomenal. Yes. I'm, mm-hmm. a, I'm a big performance person. Stephanie will Ooh. tell you, I'm big on performance. 
Yes, he and is. You, you gave us everything. Yes, you did. And you. We were both here for it. Yes. Yes. So, Eric, what, what about the voice experience um, was a, the nicest surprise for you? Inquiring minds want to know, what did you like about the voice the most? I will say the response from the response from I guess we can say America, or just people who watch the show. Hmm. Um, hmm. Even like if maybe somebody didn't watch the show, like America voted and stuff like that. Like people just see clips on YouTube, TikTok, going through the comment right. section and seeing support when in my head I'm very aware. I'm ve- I'm a very uh, I'm just a person that's very aware <laughs> and like. I knew yeah. that there were singers on the show that could really just stand in one spot and give you vocals. And the show is called The Voice, not the drag queen show. <laughs> but like, <laughs> you know, like, I know that I'm very theatrical and I'll always be in my head. Like, I yes. don't want the overdramatic facial expressions, the dancing, the voguing on stage to like take away from the singing. Because I could hear people in my head even like, when they weren't seeing anything, like all that boy do is dance. He don't really sing. They got him on there just for entertainment, and I never want to come across Please. like that. So right, right. I would say what well, um, the, the thing is, Eric. Here, here's the thing: mm-hmm. you gave us the theatrics, but you also equally gave us the voice. One hundred percent. Theatrics were here, and your voice was here. No, no. it was it was very much balanced. It was oh very God. much matched, Thank you. which. Yeah. Is so rare to see on a singing competition like this. People do not bring performance like you brought performance. Thank and you. it was so cool to see. And I think that you will uh, give others who might have um, not dumbed down, but lessened their, the, the mm-hmm. performance in them. You've given future contestants the permission to mm. do that because they see that you made it to the live competition being who you were. So mm-hmm. I applaud you for that because that's 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 the brave thing to do. Cause you don't and, you don't know how that's gonna read. You don't you don't. And from what we saw, it, it looked like Camila was like a huge supporter of that. Portion. She loved it. What she was performing saw? with you. She's like <laughs> Like, like give me, she said, give me Broadway. Give me. Yes, all the time. Mm-hmm. The preparation for rumor has it is like one of like my fondest memories with her personally. It's just like mm. the ideas that she had when I had the like I want to do like the little outfit reveal trench coat takeoff moment. She was like, yeah, and let's get you yes. a hood, yeah, yeah. and I had like some crazy makeup, and like it was like every idea I had, she took it to the next level, like making the beginning kind of like da da and like pose pose and pose pose like she added that um sure. when i was like yeah you know, i don't really want to sing the song how adele sings like i'm an alternative artist like i want to add something different she knew exactly what i mean right. let's do rock and roll and i was like yes come you know this is what i talk about girl yes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's fantastic so you had you definitely had the right coach but we'll talk about her in a minute okay. so you just told us that your nicest surprise. What was one of the more challenging things about being on The Voice for you? I got to think because they're not going to see me. Oh, um, hold on. <laughs> Let me get my thoughts. Together. I know that's right. Yeah. I know that's right. <laughs> Ooh, can I? Okay, I know how to word things. Sometimes I felt in preparing. Let me go ahead and make sure I say this. Not from a coach at all. Not at all. Mm-hmm. I would mm-hmm. feel sometimes that I feel singers have different things that they are strong at. My place mm-hmm. is riffs and runs. I know that I can kick out some riffs and runs that would have people. And that's not cocky or arrogant. I know I can do some runs that I have somebody like, I didn't know the voice could do that. And I felt like on the show, 100. at times where like I might have, you know, been wanting to do a crazy thing or I just, I felt. I felt like, no, I'm a word that like that. I felt yes. like, okay, maybe not, you know, because when you think pop, you know, right. like, do a leap of, so you don't think of like crazy, well, that's more of a soulful R&B thing. And I was really branded on right. the show. Like, you are Camila's electric theater pop boy. But like, yeah. Right. But, okay, but we're not going, okay, I'm done. I'll stop there. <laughs> yeah. 
I let it go. No, no. But yeah. And, and that was honestly, Eric, that was one of the things that I think drew me and Stephanie in even more because right. we saw so many different sides of right. Him. Right. And you were not one dimensional at all. Right. Um, with the can't help falling in love with right. the, with the uh, the Miley Cyrus. People have no idea how not difficult it is, but to to me, how much talent you have to have to show that you are multi dimensional. Absolutely, and you can give them you can give them whatever you feel like giving them that day, and we loved it. We loved well, we, it. Yeah, and we also talked to other contestants who also expressed that this is a TV show. This is a produced TV show Absolutely. competition. So because of that, there are certain things. I'm going to say it. Okay, I'll say it. There are certain things that are not completely your under your control. And Uh-oh. that's just the real of it. I, I that's just know. the real because about? this is a singing competition. <laughs> This listen. This this is what this is my opinion. Okay, I'll put it on me because NBC, <laughs> the boys. Okay, I'll put it on me. This is Stephanie's yeah. opinion. This is Stephanie's opinion because I understand that this is a TV show. Yeah, and yeah. I think that it's been expressed that a lot of the contestants felt like they were given choices and bandwidth to a certain extent but everything was not their choice because there are this is a tv show a tv competition with producers and ratings and things of that sort and i think that that uh is something that goes overlooked Hmm. by the regular viewer just because you know not they're not thinking about that but that's something that you all that's a, that's a struggle that you all might have to deal with as you're doing song choices as you're doing arrangements as you're doing collaborations you know all these things are may not be your choice so me, for you me. for you to be a yes so for 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 you know all of you there is a um that's an added challenge i would think because i know for myself i like I'm, I'm, I want to be in control of my content and my art. And to, to, when you go into a competition like this, you have to surrender some of that. Mm. Is not. I do told me, keep in mind, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my sh- That is what Ms. Erica said. I do want yeah. to go back to, um, uh, can't have fallen in love. Um, mm-hmm. I really, like keeping in mind, like that little, the brandingness of it, of like sure. Eric is the electric pop person. When I went to Camila, but yeah. like, hey, I really want to, you know, not even like just the appearance of like black hair and and just black clothing and stuff. Like I want to do a song, like can't help falling right. in love, and I just really appreciate her for being like, yeah, it's time for you to do a song like that. It's time for you to give just vocals mm-hmm. and just sit on a chair and sing. And like, so right. she, she was always just really, you said it best, couldn't have asked for like a better coach, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. We heard that about all the coaches, honestly. We heard all the coaches were really, really wonderful. So that mm-hmm. that's awesome to see because you just never know. These, these, you know, these are famous artists that are, you know, getting a check for doing a TV show, but it really, really seemed like each and every one of them Actually, really cared yeah. about mm-hmm. their right. their uh, artists exactly. on their team. So this next question, I, I have been waiting to ask you this question, um, and it's kind of a two-parter, Eric. Um, the first part is what has been your fa- your favorite performance of the season for you? What was your favorite performance of yourself? Okay. And then the second part is what was your, perf- and you can have more than one. Yes. What was your favorite performance of the season, period? Oh, fun. <laughs> Mine. Oh, one more has it. It has to be that one. I felt like that was my, like, if I ever got to do like a VME or a Grammy or a show like that, that would be what an air cool performance would look like at an award show. So that was fun. Um, Didn't you at some point in that performance say, welcome to the Eric who show? 
I don't, cause I, 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 don't said think, I already had, by that point, because going into this show, I told it, almost every contestant that I had a conversation with, all I wanted was to say I got a Bond audition that aired on TV. If nobody would have turned around, they would have aired, I would have been content and fine. So, like, everything after the Bond yeah. audition is just an added blessing. But in the air, I just yeah. felt like towards woman has it like, I don't know how much long I got on here now. <laughs> so, I just, like, <laughs> that performance, like, in my head when I said that, it's like, if I'm a go, I'm a, if I'm a go, I'm a go how I want to go. <laughs> and you're going to know what you was watching That's just now. That's right. So, right. rumor has it. But a, a close tie with X's and O's, if I'm being honest, with Raina, with Raina being so young and then like knockouts fell on her birthday and then they mentioned it being her birthday i was like yeah i just from like a just from a tv standpoint i could see them like you know not letting her win but like, <laughs> but like i could just see like when you add all of that it's like oh, wow. yeah. and then the whole performance was oh my god then like i'm doing interest in those Jaden doing like a kind of slow song but like she did a song the you say i am love so like her song was the only one that had like the emotion and she conveyed the emotions. I was like, all signs point, Arena win. And this was cute. I had fun back to Orangeburg. <laughs> and I think that was just like, that was just a big moment for me. So X's and O's for sure. And I enjoyed the crowd the mm. most by X's and O's. Um, another artist. I, 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 can I just talk about what I had to go keep going back to? Your, your paparazzi. Ooh. Sydney, Eric, oh, Sydney, you and like that was just bananas. It was bananas. Yes, one of our top duets. Stephanie oh. and I like talked about it for a minute. Like wow. we just love her voice <laughs> and your voice and your showmanship and the performance element that you put to it and the arrangement of it. Ooh. And some of the things that you were doing vocally, yo, thank you. I was like, I I was like okay, I feel okay. I was just talking about this before you came on. We were like, you make it, you made it all look so effortless, Eric. Like yeah. vocally, you made it look effortless. And as singers, Stephanie and I, being singers ourselves, we know what it takes to make a vocal look effortless. You do put a lot of work into your vocal, right? But it was just like, and that was not just that was not just paparazzi. That was the entire season. Mm -hmm. Like we made everything seem easy because right. it was so good. Right. Thank you Agreed. so much. Oh my gosh, paparazzi You're was I think one of yeah. my favorite vocal performances. I really and, and like you feel like an extra like feel a confidence having somebody else. And Sydney is her voice to be a female is out of this. Was, She's insane. Oh. Love her. Um, Listen, like, I, she's out of this world. Like that I'm, voice. I'm an alto, so I was, I was loving her voice. I'm like, sing deeper, please, sing deeper. deeper. <laughs> Go deeper. <laughs> Go deeper. Oh my god, me still thinking of my favorite performance in the meantime. Yes, I'm give sure. us all your, all your favorite performances. Favorite performances of the season. Like who, who just were you just totally um, taken aback by? Cello's blind audition. Insane. Mm. I freaking loved it. Um, Stephanie. Love some cello. Love cello some is, cello. That was an aesthetic. I've never seen a walking <laughs> aesthetic in my life. Um, <laughs> that That's that's great description. Yes. It is. Um, when I really think about the battle between Dia Malay and Valerie for Bush, the windows out your car, I do that constantly. And oh, I play that constantly. Yeah. Um, and like no the things that Valerie was doing, oh, that, it was just insane. insane. Yeah. yeah. Knowing how insane. religious Justin is, um, when he, I believe he did Break Every Chain. I don't want to say the wrong song, but I know he did a gospel song. And I just thought that was amazing. Yeah, he did Break Every he Chain. Did. Was I, the I other one he did, Steph? He did God break every song? chain, and then he did. Uh, and, uh, you made a way. Oh, you made a way. You made a way. And you made a way. Yeah, yeah. But break every chain was powerful. And I was. Oh my god. Powerful. Was, 
go electric. So yeah, those are my yes, favorites. yes. Mm-hmm. Good picks. Kim Cruz, Good picks. Kim Cruz, love on the brand, uh, outfit, voice never, voice never fails. Icon in the making, love her. Was that the one? Was that the one where uh, Justin said that everybody could hear it in the background, and Eric was doing some good cussing? Yeah, <laughs> there's one thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. When they were like, "Yeah, it was doing some good cussing." Bash. Yeah, we heard a lot of people talk about that performance. Yeah, it was a great one too. Well, we talked a little bit about her, but what was your favorite thing, if you haven't already mentioned or you have something else to share about working with the wonderful coach Camila on her first season of The Voice? Just being understood, feeling like mm. feeling like every wow. idea, even if it wasn't the best idea, we can make it work and still get your vision done. Or let's add mm. this to make it even more dramatic. Or let's make uh, sometimes people, people people think dramatic is a bad word. Um, to make it grander. Come on, grander. What's the word? We gonna say yes. Grander. Come on, um, grand. Come on, grander. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm here for dramatic. I would say <laughs> more grand, but <laughs> we're gonna say grander. <laughs> um, more grand. All right, um, we're gonna say grander. Yes. What else? I'm gonna use that uh, one. Just yeah, yes. at moments where I always felt like okay, maybe I need to tone it back. Or should I already be doing stuff like can help right now? But I think with her help, song choice went exactly how I needed to go. So she always had like mm-hmm. the best ideas and like let's do this now and then if the future allows us to do this then. So yeah. Hmm. I was really impressed with her advice and her coaching this this season. You know, being this her first season, you know, you looking to see what kind of advice she gives, whether things are relevant, whether it just seems like, okay, let's, let's up the key a little bit. But she, she really did seem to be really in tune with each one of her artists and really gave them, gave each of you really mm-hmm. constructive, uh, practical yes. uh, information that not only was for your vocal, but I know uh, a contestant like Devick said that she was really about opening him up for his performance mm-hmm. and allowing, uh, wanting him to just be more free and more comfortable yep. on stage. So mm-hmm. I love how she um, talked to you all about every part of your performance so that all of it could be um, as as great as it could be. It got a little creepy. I hope she comes like, back. Oh, oh God. It got, I want the voice to do like, I'll say it then. But um, <laughs> I really, like, towards the end, like, it got scary. Like, one of my favorite songs towards, like, the end of my run was Unholy by Sam Smith. And I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm telling y'all from, from my mouth, just from my head and just what I know in my heart, that mm-hmm. the way if I would have been, if they would have, one, if America would have given you one more round, when I tell you that whole stage was going to be a church. With pews and nuns, and oh. I, who I was gonna go all up and through that church. It was they were gonna have to cut the TV off. They would have had to cut the TV <laughs> off. They would have to put the kids to sleep. I think they, I think America do like we gotta get rid of him now. Cause if we don't, if we don't, our kids are gonna be corrupted. Anyway, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Can 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 are can we expect a a unholy um what's Cosmo. it called a cover from uh, you possibly I don't lie. i've tried to like record something <laughs> and i think knowing that i would have most likely done that song on the show bit like the mm-hmm. you know, crowd is one thing like you feed off the crowd's energy yes I just feel like yeah i'm just kind of underwhelmed when i like make the cover like oh this is gonna be a video on instagram like ugh, like i don't get that same right but um right yeah, I mean, you know, might as well do a little something like that. I really love the song, though. So we <laughs> never know. Give me an idea. Listen, I want to tell you that my husband is brilliant because I was like, I love this song. But it's talking about cheating and it's talking, yeah. you know, it's whatever. Like the yeah. beat is like. It, it gets but, yeah, you go. But the lyrics. You know, and I'm. The lyrics, oh, you know, and I'm, I'm, I've always been beat first, lyrics later. So I'm like grooving to it. And then I'm like, what are we saying? Okay. Yeah. But, but my husband, my husband broke it down. Like he was like, suppose he was asked to write a song 
-hmm. about being unfaithful to his wife. Have you ever heard anything like that before? I said, no. And he was like, well, then he wrote a great song. I said, well, I I can't even debate that. I said, I can't even debate that. That's it. It's true. That's it. All that whole right. song. You know, how many to be a curse go? Yeah. Yeah. It's like how many how many cheating songs have we heard? Never heard it. Never heard it like that. No, I've never heard Body Shop. And <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So maybe maybe on your live tour, Eric, we, we can see see some unholy from you. Yes. Yeah, that's how we manifest. Okay. No, <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Eric, Eric, who and 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 Sydney does not count. But Uh-oh. who out of all the artists on the show would you want to do a duet with, and why? Devix, because of the alternative rock style and like edge that he has for sure. Ooh. Like. Ooh. Yes. My next album, my next album that doesn't have a title yet, a D, <laughs> but like I know for a fact that the whole album is four genres. It's a punk rock genre, disco pop, uh, chill R and B, and then I like to call it like just like little feel good confident genre if that makes sense. And um, it's pretty much it. like two yes. songs per genre. And I would love yes. somebody like Devix to be on one of the alternative punk rock songs because his voice is just insane. Oh, insane. It's, it's crazy. Uh, I just like his style too. His name fits him perfectly. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Uh, who else, who else, who else, who else? Kim is my friend and I love her, but... I don't think our voices would mesh, but like just because of how much I love her voice, I'm like I just don't feel worthy to be on the song with her. But like she's uh, she's insane. Oh. Um, and this is a random idea I literally had today that I am becoming very spiritual in a way. Don't say religious, but borderline. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm gonna be very. Ah. Religious, I'm gonna be very spiritual. I don't know which one yet because I always tell people I don't know my next five minutes, so I don't want to tell you wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, right. But I love how religious Justin is, so I would love to do a song with him that I've never heard a song done like this where the verses are almost like a discussion of somebody like Justin who is very sure of God and his faith versus somebody like me who has a lot of questions. And I would love the verse to mm-hmm. be like a for with like and you know what I'm saying that like maybe in the end you come to like I, I just nobody y'all better steal my idea listening to this. I swear to God. But like, <laughs> Not y'all, not y'all, not y'all. I'm talking about anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Who listeners, the this? listeners. I'm copyrighting <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> look, 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 Aaron gonna come for you. We'll come for you. We gonna Don't come. Do right. Do I am copyrighting tomorrow, but I would just you know, seriously. I would love that to That gave me life. goosebumps. Yeah, and just like you know, um, this is an old song, but you know the song between Whitney and Deborah Cox, same script, different song. Or same script, different cast. I think is the name of the song. It's a, it's, if and and if you haven't heard it, it's an incredible. Steph, you know the song, right? I don't. Same script, different cast. I, no, I, I don't. Used to never cast to do duet. Oh mm-hmm. gosh, probably twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it was a song about a conversation about two women who realized that that they were dating the same man at the same Ooh. time. And oh, this like the boy is mine. Yes, the boy is Brandy it's, Monica. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like grown folk, grown folk. The boy is mine. Okay. Um, and it's, and it's Whitney and Deborah Cox. So it's it's, it's two crazy voices. Yeah. Y'all gotta go listen to the song. And that's what I thought of because I love this song so much. Like, like, oh, y'all, y'all need to write this. Y'all need to Do write it. Eric. Like, Do I love it. I love that. that. The comparison of, like, The Boy Is Mine, but, like, that song that I can get the vibe of that song, like, a conversation throughout the verse. Yeah. Of, like, somebody who's just doubting. Like, yes. Like, oh, something that got them away from Yes. Them. And then, like, Justin, like, doing those crazy runs and, like, his verse is all about, like, trying to bring you towards God. Oh, my gosh. I want to do something like that. Right. Literally had the idea Ooh, today. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> that would bless me, yes, and, I, and I know the Lord. But that would bless me I because I think that that would. I know him. I know him for myself. But I think that that is such oh a beautiful God. avenue for people who are searching 
to just hear that conversation mm-hmm. and even for it to be kind of left open ended at the end, like mm-hmm. there doesn't need to be a resolution. Okay. It's just like, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Yes, there yes, and we can and look, I'm gonna help y'all write this and we can continue. I'm open to continuing the conversation. Come on for the last part of the song. Come on. For the come, last on last. come on. Come on. I'm out. for a song that <laughs> shows that all Christians aren't narrow minded. Yeah. Mm. Our Christians are come on. Aren't homophobic. Come that on. All Christians aren't you know, uh, one one issue thinkers. And, Come you know, on. This might be controversial and I might lose some listeners for this, but I'm for that conversation. And Absolutely. That's what it's about. Yeah. Come oh on. What, yeah. what do I always say? What do I, who Jesus hang with? Uh oh. I'm going to leave it there. Who Jesus hang with? Go look up oh. who Jesus hung with. <laughs> the tax collectors. That's who Jesus <laughs> hung with? Absolutely. <laughs> In the process. Oh so don't get me started. Don't get us started. Listen. He's found Justin tonight and be like, Justin, are you open to yes. it? Yes. What he says. And oh, I, look, I will answer for him. He will say, I know he's going to say yes. I know he's going to say yes. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. That, oh. I told you. I told you. I love it. I love it. It, was, <laughs> it, it, no, it literally came out like when I was like kind of brainstorming some stuff. I was Ooh, like, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's, 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 that's beautiful. Eric. Yes, yes. All right, Eric. So the last question before we go into our rapid fire questions. Mm -hmm. Um, What is something you almost said no to? And this could be anything in life. Um, But what is something you almost said no to, but you ended up saying yes, and it wound up working out really well for you? When I first started, like, taking, not even taking social media seriously, but, like, I saw other people making it uh, income. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. well, like, I'm pretty sure I could. I think I'm entertaining enough, whether it's singing or comedy, to, like, make this a job or something. Um, right. I had, I'm from a small town, so it's very nine-to-five job. Um, yeah, we watch funny people on our phones, but, like, of course it's not going to be somebody from where we from. No, it was the L.A., New York, Atlanta people. Right. And all the talent, like, the, they sure. somehow right. made it work. So I had a lot of people <laughs> close to me and some that still in my life and some that them drifted like the wind. But um mm-hmm. <laughs> had them tell me like that's not gonna work out for you. Like don't spend too much time doing that or like you look crazy or you know how your image looks and da 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 and then uh-huh. at a moment in time I was like, Oh, maybe I should stop and like I did work went to work at a Chick-fil-A, went to work shop Chick-fil-A, went to work at a Chick-fil-A, went to work at like Southern Cafe, being a dining room host. And then I was like but at that time, not even doing the social media stuff at all. Then I was like, no, I'm going to pick back up on it. And when I yeah. picked back up, I, I had this little saying, it ain't really a saying, just kind of a little philosophy I live by, that like, if you're supposed to be doing something in life, I don't think you're going to be met with obstacle after obstacle. And some people would argue that and be like, well, no, the enemy is going to try to keep you from greatness. Depending on your relationship with the most high, the devil can't really get too close. Yeah. To it. So it's like, I don't use that as logic that if I'm on the right track, it's just gonna <laughs> things are just gonna flow and work and work out. So when I finally when it was time right. for me to focus on social media, um, cause I do think I started at a time that I was probably supposed to do it a little bit, take a break, kinda let people get to me. When I got back to it, mm. video after video, followers growing, da 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 da, all of that was happening and I almost said no and then it worked out and yeah. Yeah. So and look at you now. Wow. <laughs> what, what is for you is for you. That's it. And what is for you is for you. That's it. And, you know, sometimes the unconventional thing hmm. is the thing. That's you the know? word right there, unconventional. What, w- yeah. What, why not? You know, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the season that I'm in right now. Why not? Why, and why not? not me? And why not you? Come right? on. I don't know. All right. <laughs> why not me? And why not you? I've been holding so many cuss words in, y'all. I promise y'all. Because <laughs> y'all been talking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Stephanie, All right. let's get to my favorite part of the show. Rapid fire questions. So I'm going to make a statement or ask a question, and you just give me the first thing that comes to mind, okay? Let's get it. All right. What is the first thing that you check on on your phone in the morning? Uh, email. Definitely email. All right. Cool. What is your go-to karaoke song? Whip my hair, Willow Smith. <laughs> I whip my hair. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back. Yeah, it has to be that. That's my. That's literally my favorite artist. Favorite artist. Willow okay. Smith. Oh so I used to I used to teach kindergarten, and when that song came out, we sang it literally every day because yes. then we get the wiggles out. I wear my yes. hands. Yes, come it's on! I have not song. Li- listen. It is a li- it's a bop. Like that Ooh, is a is. legit bop. Yes, it is not just like a little kitty song. It's that's it's legit. Not. Okay. Um. Okay. What is your? She just does with the duet that came out last year, the year before. Uh, meet mm-hmm. me at. Oh my god. I'm surprised that's not I wouldn't be surprised. Was, I can see that song as a battle song. That would be so cute for Oh our yeah, for sure. Song. For that's sure. Song. Okay. What is your favorite comfort show or show to binge? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a tie. Interview with the Vampire <laughs> series or the Vampire Diaries. It's gonna be Vampire regardless. <laughs> vampire Slump. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. What is your favorite season and or holiday? Halloween. Winter. <laughs> love it. I love uh, what is your favorite snack? Oh, snack. A uh, good old fashioned honey bun, but the ice kind. Yes, indeed. Wait, who else kind. said honey bun? Kevin Hawkins said a honey bun too. Oh, that's funny. Said honey bun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so yes, good. with that you said you said with the frostings on top, right? Frosting, yeah. But what? No, I said I said frostings with an S. Frostings. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> all right. See, Brandon. okay. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, okay, next one is coffee or tea, and I know your. I think I know your answer, but tea, 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 tea. I'll drink toilet water before I drink coffee. <laughs> oh, really? Ah! I, no offense to the listeners or anybody on the screen. I think coffee drinkers are going to be the downfall of America. It's you. How can you drink that? <laughs> How it's is so, your mouth alive? It's so good. It's oh, so good. I, <laughs> now I got to do the cream and the sugar, though. Yeah, I, 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 I can't can. drink it black. Can't I cannot drink it black. black. No, got to have the creams and the sugars for real. Okay, and a little, okay. and a little, and a little, a little caramel French vanilla swirl okay. if, I, if I can do that as well. You gotta do it up. Okay, oh, yeah. I change my. Yeah, I got to do it up. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, what is the album that you always come back to? Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my. What's the album I can't just get enough of? This is hard. I don't like when I can't answer the question fast. Um, it's okay. okay. It can be more than one. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm going to say Willow Smith has an album called Organization and Classification, and it's a, really about mm. how in society... You have to be over here with this group of people. You have to be labeled with this group of people. And it's like, if we break that, the world will be so much better and in harmony. So I just mm-hmm. really go back to mm-hmm. it. Um, a lot. I think that's love that. Check and that the Hannah Montana. Out. Hannah Montana's first album. Yes. This for the nostalgia. Oh, the yes. Nostalgia. yes. I love Come it. on. I love that. Mm. Okay. Last question. What is your dream celebrity? Collaboration. Will Smith. <laughs> Willow Smith is my answer for every question. I'm sorry. Willow Smith, it's the way she <laughs> Oh my God. It's the way I love the story of how she did with my head, which is a very pop infused song. And she was kind of forced to do it from her dad. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. now her music is more neo soul alternative. 
stuff that wouldn't get mm-hmm. played on radio or get like the hot 100 and billboard. And she's just fine with that because she's making music that she wants to make. She could be like, That's right. you know, like Dua Lipa status, Lizzo status. If she yes. was in there with my hair lean, but she didn't really care about the status and like the all of that. She just makes me that she wants to make, and that's the kind of artist I want to be too. So, I right? Can see, I can see her influence because of what you told us, like what your album is going to be. Yes. Because you like, I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. Will Smith got and have all these alternative shows. Yes, Will Smith. Good. Was yeah. Crazy. And I like the alternative rock sound. And I think that there needs. There needs to be more people that look like you, more, that more people that look like me that are doing alternative music because James Absolutely. and I love it. We love, love it. us a good 90s rock, a 90s grunge. You know, we You're love it, but there's nobody. Yes, grunge, come on. Yeah, please. Please. That's, that's not music. Yes, but there aren't, we don't see people like us doing that on a regular. And there are so many more people that are, mm-hmm lovers like we are that look like us yes. that are waiting <laughs> we're waiting yes. for for you for devix for you know people of color to to make that kind of music so come with it eric come with you it know, I come can't on leave. i can't <laughs> leave without giving y'all some type of messy tea so here's the here's the gossip for all my girls listening so tea time with eric welcome to the pitchy podcast so um <laughs> 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 like a little prior to be uh, starting the voice just off like social media and like me putting like original songs on social media I got reached out to by um, a very let's just say popular label and mm-hmm. I ain't signed mm-hmm. up with me so I can talk freely and mm-hmm. damn, people literally told me that yes we would love to sign you and work with you but you have to give give on Daniel Caesar R&B and at that time, like, I was already, like, feeling like X is in O's air. The rumor has it air. That type of alternative pop boy. And then people told me, Lil Nas X already exists. And that really shook me up. Y'all, it shook me up. So I was even hesitant, like, starting to voice, like, should I go there and kind of give what I give? Because, like, he does exist, but, like, he's right. not the only person that act and sing and, like, gives the actual one. You know, and give like the feminine, masculine mix. But yeah, you know, I it was. I just had to give right. you a little, just a right. little. Right. Yeah. I was going to say y'all. Completely different vibe. Right. Why? Why are they putting you in that label? In that box. In that box. Crazy. So I and them to you know, I. I'm. I'm so glad. Listen, I'm so glad you did. I'm so glad you did because you have enough followers, enough people watching you, listening to you who are waiting for what you get, not your cover or your version of somebody else. What Mm. you, what was coming from your heart was coming from your voice was coming from your body. We're waiting to see what you are going to do. So I'm so glad that you said no, that that was a no. Yeah. I just, and you're one of the few artists that can, you're one of the few artists that can flip it on. You flipped it on them. On the, you got a chance to flip it on them on the voice. Mm-hmm. You did because you you did your performance, but then you were a, to see you. I think the, the at the top of the show, you um, gave us a wonderful compliment, and I think that that was for uh, "Can't Help Falling in Love." And mm-hmm. we were just like, we knew you could sing. We like that was not mm-hmm. a question, but to see this vulnerable side from you was just so beautiful yeah. and yeah. to hear your vocal choices was so lovely and it was just like this guy can do literally any and everything that you want oh him to do. like he, you can do it all so yeah. take that as an encouragement that you do not have to be in a box if you choose yeah. to do an r&b song do it and just like you were talking about your album with the four genres i love that because that's you Thank that's you, you. so Press on and, and do what you want to do because there is a market, there is a lane, there are listeners listening for what you have to say and how you want to present it. So, yeah. Thank y'all. Do you. Just get to get that off. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Tea Time with Eric. I'll be back next week. You're watching the picture podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that was my audition. Oh, Eric, Love it. Well, we can talk to Hired. You all night. Before, we, before we close, can you please let 
uh, our audience uh, know anything you want to share about what's coming up next for you, uh, where they can keep up with you on the socials. Let the let the let the let the yeah. church say amen and let the crowd know. <laughs> <laughs> so mm-hmm. this Friday, yep, I have a song coming out. It's called Hypnotize. Um, if I tell you what it's about, either you're going to be inclined to listen to it or scared. But it is about me. I'm not going to say me. Is it about a human putting a spell or hypnotizing another person to fall in love with them and then telling them that if you break up with me, I will ruin your life. So <laughs> not me. I'm just a storyteller. So I'm not saying I did. you just, yeah. You story. you you just narrate. You I'm just narrate. You just share. I read the book. <laughs> I'll is definitely one of the songs on my album that is more of the R and B lane. It's literally just a okay. bass playing the whole time, just a simple bass and some crazy minor dissonant harmonies all throughout to give it that creepy mystical. Wow, line. it's very different. So I know it's not gonna be for every ear, but I just want everybody to be open to it. Um, I just wonderful band. My band is called Melodic Bliss. Um, you can find them just on my socials or at melodic.bliss underscore. And we just sold out a show in the town that I was raised in. And Yay, it's- congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so insane. I would tell y'all to come, but you can't. But <laughs> <laughs> but we thank God for sold out. That's favor. And like I said earlier, this is the If you supposed to be doing something, because if I wasn't supposed to have a band, it wouldn't have been sold out, but I'm going down the right direction. The God that I serve, he blessed Listen, me. Hallelujah. And guess I what? This is the me. first. Yeah. And this, this is the first step to the, the, the nationwide tour. The live tour with Unholy. Come, come on. Well, Unholy. So when you come to the DMV, James and I will be there. We, oh. will. we, we live like a couple of towns over from Parajita, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Shop the parakeet. Yes. 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 Did you tell us where we could find you on the socials, on oh, the Instagram and all the things? Because we want people to be able to find you if they have not found you yet. So, you guys, Instagram is Ericu underscore. TikTok is Ericu one. Or you can just type in Ericu and usually it'll pop up. Um, and I am the boy with the pink hair, purple hair as of right now, but the pink is... It's coming back soon, y'all. But um, yeah, that's where you can find me. Awesome. Thank you. Eric, well, we want to thank you so much for joining us today. It was a blast. It yes. was it, it was just you thank took you. us you took us on a journey today, Eric. And we thank you so much just for being so vulnerable, so open, and just spending the time with us here. And it was really Absolutely. wonderful to talk to you. And the Pitchy Podcast wishes you nothing but success yes, and please. continued opportunities and using your incredible gift. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay, Stephanie. So tell the Pitchy Podcast audience what they need to know. So don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Pitchy Podcast on your favorite podcast platform so you can be the first to know when we drop a new episode. And as you know now, we are on YouTube. So search for the Pitchy Podcast and hit that subscribe button uh, so you know when we drop a new video. And last, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at The Pitchy Podcast for new episode alerts, episode clips, and so much more. <laughs> Eric, Eric, send us Eric out. has got to come back. Yeah, send us out, Eric. Tell, this, tell the pitchies bye. This is my new job. I would tell y'all bye, but y'all will see me next week when I co-host it. Oh, uh, <laughs> when I co-host it. Thank you guys so much for having me, for real. And um, to everybody listening, thank you. And keep supporting the Pitchy Podcast because they're amazing and they're nice people, and they don't tear down people. Let's have to get that off my chest. Amen. Too. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.